are saving the dream. The dream. They came to save their homes. I need help with my mortgage. Um, I am behind. They lined up at midnight each day. If I could save my dream and be out here early, I'm going to try to do everything I can. They camped out in the dark and cold. It's wonderful that they're having something like this, you know, because really there's just so many people that need it. It's not going to save the dream tour, where struggling homeowners around the country are getting help restructuring their loans. It's bad. I know my next door neighbor just recently moved out. They lost their home. And I've known a couple of people that I work with that have lost their homes too. I don't want to do that. This is my first home and I want to keep it. In every city, tens of thousands formed long lines waiting to get in. All my savings went to this house. And now my house has to go to how, how I'm going to live. Where I'm going to be? Outside? I think it's great that they're actually trying to step in and help. You know, because the banks won't listen to us. Wow, Diana, look at that crowd behind you. It's unbelievable, Michelle. Now, the people are coming in from all over the Northeast to this event, and they're actually leaving with restructured loans. Not new loans, but the same loan with the same lender at a reduced interest rate. We're determined to do it for everybody, because look, aren't we thy brother's keeper? To understand what brought thousands of people together, you need to go back two decades. NACA was the first organization to fight predatory lending. In 1991, NACA initiated an aggressive campaign against Fleet Bank, forcing it to commit more than $8 billion in affordable loans. In 2000, NACA CEO and founder Bruce Marks was one of the first to sound the alarm about the current mortgage crisis. Marks testified in Congress, warning of the consequences of the government being involved in predatory lending. Without such controls, Fannie Mae will continue to expand its reach into the subprime market and might itself become a predatory lender. Participation in these schemes by the GSEs poses potential risk for the housing and banking industry and for the economy in general. That congressional testimony fell on deaf ears. Years later, America is in a financial mess. Unless these lenders do the right thing and restructure these loans, millions of homeowners are going to lose their homes. NACA is the largest and most effective nonprofit homeownership and community advocacy organization in the country. It has 40 offices nationwide and is HUD certified. NACA provides the best homeownership programs in America. Just two hours into this help seminar, and you can see the room behind me is full of troubled homeowners. Lines began out the door at 6 in the morning, and some are expected to stay till 2 a.m. NACA was also the first to realize traditional payment plans and refinances were not working. So it revolutionized the industry by pressuring lenders to restructure loans to what people could truly afford. Payments are based on the borrower's net income, minus reasonable expenses. Okay. So what I do is I take your mortgage payment and I reduce it by um, the total deficit that you have. To achieve the affordable payment, NACA lowers the interest rate for the life of the loan and or cuts the outstanding principal. The reason NACA can reduce mortgages is because it has legal agreements with all the major lenders, including Fannie Mae. You don't have to be in foreclosure or about to lose your home to qualify for this. You just have to have a mortgage that's unaffordable. And we're going to get that payment locked in for the life of the loan. On the Save the Dream Tour, lenders approve solutions on the spot. Payment was about $1,200 a month. Now, 4% interest, $789 a month. With fixed interest rates, less than 5%, often at 3 and sometimes 2%. We went from 9.67 to 4. Because you guys are retired and you need something that is going to be fixed, it's going to be permanent. It's a burden lifted. It's a blessing. It is a blessing. They just saved the marriage. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> She can save her house and save her marriage. Not only did we solve one problem today, but we solved, solved her life problems. I'll have money that I, I need to spend on the kids where I haven't had it for the past two Christmases. We ain't had one, really. It's going to help us tremendously. I know that. Same-day solutions are reasons to celebrate. Relief is finally here. I won't have to worry so much. I've been worrying all my life, ever since I've been to Vietnam, because I'm 63 years old. 
in my last years, I could really be satisfied. <laughs> Emotions are intense. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is wonderful to be able to help other people, and they really need help. The couple she helped had a 10% interest rate, despite good credit. We were not given true, accurate information. High, predatory mortgage terms nearly caused them to give up their home, until NACA. The name should be a flying angel. They're just a blessing machine. NACA began saving homes for at-risk homeowners as soon as the crisis hit. It created the Save the Dream Tour to help thousands of borrowers at once. Meeting one-on-one -on -one with homeowners, counselors help them prepare budgets. The mortgage company is going to expect you to make certain sacrifices. Then, at a push of a button, NACA's underwriting software declared how much the homeowner could afford and automatically requested the mortgage servicing company to restructure the loan accordingly. It's a good thing for the banks. We do the work for them. It's a win-win situation. The Save the Dream Tour has had such impact, providing tens of thousands of real solutions. The story's gone national. This is the CBS Evening News. They lined up in the hundreds, documents in hand, hope in their hearts that today would bring a solution to their mortgage troubles. This is not your fault. Many homeowners struggling with bad loans are turning to a nonprofit group. It's aggressive and sometimes confrontational, and the tactics are being described as such, but they often get results. Taking advantage of a free loan restructuring event put on by NACA. Initially, 5,000 people signed up to work with counselors, but word quickly spread bringing out 15,000 more. NACA says an event like this destroys the myth that homeowners are walking away from lenders. All they need, they say, is someone to help. Close to 8,000 borrowers already, and they're still lining up. It's a five-day event by NACA, a community nonprofit, which made deals with lenders like Countrywide, Wells Fargo, and J.P. Morgan to restructure loans. Now, this event is so dramatic. Just in the numbers, the head of the FDIC came by to see it all, as well as the controller of the currency. This is just the first stop for what is really a mobile servicing center. Plans are being made to take it on the road across the country. So I want all 435 Congress people to see what we're doing here and see can they replicate this in their communities. This is what will get us back to where we ought to be. Congressman James Clyburn is a national leader on restructuring mortgages to make them permanently affordable. Attending all four days of the South Carolina event, he was a strong advocate for the 25,000 participants, many his constituents. The congressman wants other states to follow suit. I don't need this in order to get reelected. I need this in order to sleep well at night. And so do the tens of thousands for whom NACA has saved the dream. God use ordinary people to do extraordinary things. Absolutely. And yeah. I thank God for both of you. You're so kind. I really do. Thank, thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. That's the best thing my country ever did for me since I came back from the wall. Thank you. 